Okay, hopefully this video will work. I've been having video uploading issues uh, the last week. I, I wonder if you noticed that I had four of the same video up. Uh, my video program said, sorry, failed to upload. And then, but somehow it magically uploaded. I had another video that actually didn't upload. I'm not exactly sure what happened to it, but uh, there was uh, three or four days worth of stuff, so I'm not sure how far I got on that. But I'll just show you Monday stuff very quickly here, and there's kind of a whole bunch here. I got one autograph request in uh, from Santa Clarita, California. A lot of people have gotten that postmark before. And this is from none other than Roger E. Mosley. And if you don't remember who Roger Mosley was, I think Caleb got him in, somebody else did. Um, he was the pilot for um, uh, the Hawaiian Air, uh, the Hawaii uh, uh, tour, island tours or whatever on Magna P.I. He had a brown van with uh, some sort of stripes on it and he also had a really cool helicopter. I did not have a picture of that, um, but this was a, a Hawaii shot that I sent him and wrote the note on the back of it and he um, gave that back to me. There is a card with his helicopter in it which I did, wished I had but I did not. But he says, um, Roger E. Mosley, TC number one. That's what he wrote on there. And then Roger E. Mosley right there in small pen there, if you can see that on these two Magna PI trading cards. So that's really cool. We'll finally get those in. That didn't take very long at all. It just took me forever and a day to write him. I got some envelopes, which took massively long time for eBay. And these were $0.25, cents, uh, $1.25 shipping. eBay had a shipping glitch that charged me an extra dollar. So I paid $2.25 in shipping and the seller did not uh, did not budge. Um, it's not my fault. The eBay, um, did, the auction didn't show up. And I looked all over for it. So I said, okay, I guess I won two envelopes. But I guess I won three. And I looked all over for the envelope. Uh, these are Glenn Peck's 83 balloon envelope. And, you know, this is kind of neat for $0.25, cents, so I, I can't complain about that one. Um, then I got this one here. This is signed by the uh, pilot, or the aeronaut, and the name of the, the balloon. Ind Sunshine, I don't know what IND is it. Indian Sunshine, Indianapolis Sunshine, Indiana Sunshine, Independent Sunshine, no idea. Um, so there's that one. This is from 1988. And then very quickly, this one is kind of cool. I know uh, a lot of people like this one. This is signed by Captain Kool-Aid and uh, Carl, Carl Hiller or whatever. I can't read that. Maybe that's who it is. And then the hippie buffaloon. Uh, so that's kind of interesting from 1989 uh, from uh, Cast Town, uh, Ohio. Um, then we have um, some stamps. And this guy wanted me to shout him out on my YouTube channel. So Richie Money, R-I-C-H. I think it's R-I-C-H-I-E money all one word uh, on eBay check him out um, he does uh, stamps and uh, they're usually 25 percent off face value so I got a bunch of Christmas stamps I have a lot more than that but this is just what I grabbed and I sent off 10 or 12 things today and I have a lot more once I get the correct amounts for some of the things that already started um, we got one more thing here uh, some COMC stuff really quickly and it will not take very long a couple of the cards were already mailed off today I needed this uh, Michael Chiesa card for my collection. Uh, you can't really see the sparkle. There I go. And I did not have that one. This is, I think, 75 cents for that card, something like that. This one I have, and I th I'm not sure if I have more of these. This is number 25 of 50. I'm not sure if I had that variant, but I think if I, if I do, I have two or three of them. Um, so that's 25 out of 50. I like to grab ones of 50s, 25s of 50s, and 50s of 50s. Um, it's numbered on the back. This one here is Erica Brown, and I needed that variant, a silver variant, for my um, Olympic card set, and I also am going to send that out. This was only a couple bucks, Craig Mitchell, Quantum of Solace, and this is Glenn, uh, Glenn Foster. His character is Craig Mitchell, Glenn Foster from Quantum of Solace. And um, the thing about that is these used to be put out by, I think, Rittenhouse. Archives, I think. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I, I'm sure Ed knows this. Um, but unfortunately, Upper Deck has taken it over, so there'll be no relics. I'm sure, just 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 autograph cards. I mean, the card is okay. It's just and it's on card autograph. It looks like so. But two dollars, I can't complain about that one. Um, let's see. There were some more cards here. Where in the heck did they go? I don't have a lot of time here on the camera here. Shoot. Well, anyway, um, if I find them, I'll show them to you. But um, they're nothing. Oh, here we go. Here's the rest of them. So I got some Japanese wrestling cards. Uh, nothing special. I just bought the cheapest ones I could find. 
And so we have, this is from the True Heart series. Somebody on YouTube just got some of these or opened them up. I don't know who that is. Um, I for, I've forgotten already. Um, there's another one. And there's another one. So there's those, very quickly. Um, I've been buying these clerks cards when they're less than a dollar. I think that was less than a dollar. The Scott Schiaffo uh, premium membership. I'm not sure if that's his real name or I cannot remember here. Blah blah blah. So, autographed by Scott Schiaffo. So there's that one. Lisa Spoonhour I think is the valuable one. Or one of the valuable ones as she passed away a year or two ago. Of course Kevin Smith and um, uh, a couple other guys. Um, this is another Chiesa I don't think I had. Um, I didn't have that particular variant. This is numbered out of 30, 52, no, uh, 88, I think. 88 for whatever reason. So there's that one. Here's another Erica Brown, which I did not have, and I'll have her sign that one. And last but not least, the three coolest cards out of here. This was a ridiculously stupid cheap. I don't know, it was not even $3. Kent Zagano, Zing, well, anyway, you know who it is. Primary pieces numbered 18 out of 50 or something ridiculous. That was next to nothing. So there's some material over here. It just says, says fighter uh, worn memorabilia or something. I think that's what it says. So a, a single athlete primary pieces quad relics card from 2017 Topps UFC Museum Collection. So that is really pretty neat to have that one. Very thick card. And the last two things are... Um, Probably everybody's favorite of the whole video is these uh, exhibit cards. These are the first ones. I've seen them all over the place and never bought, purchased any because they were either a little bit too much or too too beat up, but these were less than a dollar piece. I think it was 80 odd cents because it was on sale. Hank Majeski, blank back. These are from the 40s, I think they are, and early 50s. And there is Del Ennis. And I think there were variants of these where they had um, uh, logos on some of them. I think the Majeski might have had a, a variant. I'm not sure if it was that one or not. And then again, blank back, but pretty good condition. I don't really care. Uh, they both came in these holders, so that's pretty cool. And that's what I have for you today. And that's all I can show because I want to get this video done. And hope you liked some of that stuff and gave you some ideas of things to pick up, like this card, or stamps, or some Olympic cards, or very inexpensive UFC cards, or even something like this. Relics for only like two or three dollars. CMC is four dollars for shipping, and eBay is sometimes three or four dollars plus a dollar for the card. So you're already there. You might as well go out to CMC half the time, and they have a lot of times more more of a variety and more condition, uh, easier to find stuff. So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.